well renowned for its craft apprenticeships. However, we now have post-2016 new apprenticeship programmes which are widely available to people either leaving school or um, already in industry looking to upskill or people that are looking to return to work. The difference between the craft apprenticeships and the post-2016 apprenticeships is that firstly the, the apprentice is paid a salary for the duration of the programme. These programmes either have to be anything between two years and four years and the new apprenticeship programmes are anything between levels 5 to levels 10 on the NFQ. The old craft apprenticeships, whilst you'd be paid on the job, your off-the-job phases would be government funded. This isn't the way with the new apprenticeships. With the new apprenticeships you're paid your salary by the um, employer for the duration of the two years. And this also includes being sent on your off-the-job, your classroom phases as such. With the new apprenticeships you have to have a minimum of 50% on the job and you'll see a lot of the new apprenticeships that are around would be at in or around the 80% on the job so there'd be a structured workplace programme in place for the apprentice to learn. With the new apprenticeships as well all organisations would nominate a workplace uh, mentor who would mentor and coach the apprentice during the two years of the programme. Um, and this obviously is crucial for the development of all of these skills that the apprentices are learning. Over the two years they develop skills such as human skills, um, personal skills, all of which are completely relevant to the industry in question. We have apprenticeships in sales, craft butchery, auctioneering, logistics, um, insurance, We've another one in hairdressing. Um, there's some more new apprenticeships coming on board this year. Arboriculture is one, um, scaffolding and wind turbine. So all of these, by the end of this year, we're going to have at least 20 to 25 new apprenticeships, which is going to be a great opportunity for these young people. The programs are delivered by education and training boards and your local education and training board has all of the information so contact the local education and training board for further information or indeed look at apprenticeship.ie or if you're looking to speak to somebody about the sales apprenticeship contact apprenticeship at msletb.ie and you will find that many of the education and training boards would have similar addresses apprenticeship at the education training board.ie as such.